In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the manifold kit on an air compressor. The manifold kit is made up of a manifold, the regulator, a couple of gauges, quick disconnects, and the nipple that joins the manifold to the tank. The manifold kit will solve any problems related to a cracked manifold or problems with the regulator. In fact, on many compressor models, it's the only way to service the regulator. Fortunately, it's easy to replace. Before we remove any parts, we want to drain the air out of the tank because some of these parts are under pressure. So I'll go ahead and open the drain on the tank and let all that air pressure out. We'll begin by removing the manifold cover. It's held in place with a single screw. Next, we need to remove the hose that runs between the manifold and the pressure switch inside the air compressor. It's held in place with a crimped clamp. Remember, you'll need to order one of these clamps whenever you service the manifold because we will ruin the clamp when we remove it. To remove it, I'll use just a pair of heavy-duty wire cutters, and I'll both cut and rock the clamp side to side until it breaks. And now I'll pull the hose away from the manifold. Now I need to remove the pump assembly from the tank so that we'll be able to rotate the manifold around to remove it. The pump is secured with just a couple of screws, one on the front and one on the back. Now I just slide the pump assembly to the side and I can lift it away from the tank. With the pump assembly out of the way, now I can go ahead and unscrew the manifold. If the manifold nipple remained in the tank like it did on my compressor, use a pair of pliers to remove it. Here I have our new manifold and the old one. I need to transfer our safety valve from the old manifold to the new one before we install it on the compressor. So I'll use a wrench to remove the old safety valve. Before I reinstall the safety valve into the new manifold, I'm going to apply a little bit of blue Loctite to the threads. And then I'll just screw it in and tighten it up with the wrench. The manifold kit includes a new manifold nipple. I just want to make sure it's tightened into the manifold before we install the manifold to the tank. Now I can go ahead and place the pump assembly back onto the tank and secure it with the two screws. The new manifold replaces an older style and it's laid out a little differently. Because of this change, I'm going to need to trim this hose that comes from the pressure switch a little shorter. I'll just line it up with the nipple on the new manifold and trim it to length. I'll install the new hose clamp and then put the hose back on the nipple. The new hose clamp can be secured with a pair of end nipper pliers. Now reinstall the manifold cover and secure it with the screw.